everyone. Welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Tom Baker. This week's show kicks off at the bull ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. That's where Jaden Walbridge was taking on the best the track had to offer in their junior late model series. Jaden proved up to the task as he took the checkered flag in a well-earned victory. Jaden goes back to the Madeira Speedway this Saturday, April 27th, to run the junior late model race there. Adam Lemke has been running pavement late models for junior motorsports on the East Coast this season. But over the weekend, he went back out west to California and returned to USAC Speed 2 Midget Series action, winding up with a nice fifth place finish. Lemke climbs back into the junior motorsports late model this Saturday at Motor Mile Speedway in Virginia. Jesse Love was supposed to make his debut in the famed Keith Kuntz Racing 97K Midget this past weekend, but heavy rains flooded the track in Jacksonville, Illinois. It's good to have a backup plan. It's even better when that backup plan is to go back to California and strap yourself into a winged 360 sprint car and race at Placerville. Jesse qualified 13th and was in contention when with just 12 laps left in the race, to quote his racing social media at the time, he got balled out to ballyhoo. I guess that's love speak for he got run over. Jesse was forced to the back of the field, but he dropped the hammer on the restart, took to the top of the track, and charged back from 22nd to 10th in the final 12 laps. A bit of a soothing bomb for the chaff of being taken out of potential top five contention earlier on. Jesse has a triple header of Power Eye Midget Racing action on deck for this weekend, running at Belclair, Peavley, and Jacksonville as he finally makes that debut with Keith Kuntz Racing. Meanwhile, back in the Midwest, Joe Valento raced at Dell's Raceway Park with his Legends car for the first time ever in the fifth annual Icebreaker 100. He qualified ninth fastest, finished fifth in the dash, started second in the feature, and ended his day with a nice ninth place finish. The race featured several wrecks that scrambled the field, but Joe was able to avoid them and gain valuable track time for future competition there. Joe's next race will be May 5th. That's when he enters Midwest Truck Series competition for the first time at Madison International Raceway in Wisconsin, racing under the direction of former racer Kelly Byers. Washington's Bryce Bazanson climbed back aboard the Jefferson Pitts Racing number 7 late model at the Evergreen Speedway for his second race of the season. He qualified 7th for the 100-lap Easter egg feature against a field of drivers in which he was the youngest by a full three years. He was hit from behind and spun early, but he recovered for a 12th place finish. A nice job and valuable experience for the youngster who was in his first year racing stock cars after growing up in open wheel type machines. Bryce returns to action in Evergreen on Saturday, May the 4th. That'll wrap it up for this week's Race Face Driver Updates as we get set to throw the checkered flag on tonight's show. But don't forget, you can catch up on any episodes that you might have missed at raceface.tv on demand. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your community. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. Get out there and make it a safe and successful racing weekend. I'm Tom Baker. Thanks for watching.